YouTube, it's your boy King Supreme back with the video. We got why rappers are terrified of dissing Eminem. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to see more bangers from your boy. You feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, got some more Eminem today, y'all. Very, very, very excited, bro. Get to some more of these Eminem videos. I read to Eminem song today as well. Um, his uh, survival joint. Um, so y'all can go check that reaction out after this one. Um, more Eminem songs dropping soon as well. But I want to get some more Eminem videos. These are very interesting, very intriguing to me. And I, this one was suggested to me in the comments. Thank y'all for that. Um, and thank y'all for all y'all suggestions that y'all always give me. Bro. Always the always bangers, always interesting videos, always entertaining videos. And I very much appreciate it. But we're going to see how this one is. Why rappers are terrified of dissing Eminem. My opinion, yeah, the, the rappers we've seen this some constantly for... for for whatever reasons, you know, we've seen what Eminem has done to them. MGK, um, you know, it's just, it's just one prime example. Uh, I had to switch genres on them, but um, like it's just, it's just, it's not a good idea to talk about Eminem or to say anything. And people be talking about his daughter, all this, the disrespectful. It makes no sense to me, you know what I'm saying? But um, again, like I said, if you try to diss him or go at him, Eminem is gonna come back at you 20,000 20, times harder than you did him. So I'm mean, interested to see what this is gonna be. More to story, do not diss Eminem, but we're gonna see this video. This thank y'all for the suggestion. Let's get straight into it, man. Diss songs that scare rappers from dissing Eminem. Welcome to Read Dino. Today we're counting some key tracks from Super MC Eminem that prove that when it comes to rap disses, you don't want to mess with him. Facts. Disses are part of the hip hop culture and a common way through which rappers express themselves and their differences. The industry, however, has its untouchables, the very elite group of artists everyone knows better than to mention in a diss track. Mm -hmm. Not by unfounded fear but by the assured savagery of the reply that will follow and how damaging the outcome will be on their careers. <laughs> by, the, by the assured savagery. <laughs> okay, I like how he's describing this. Hold on, let me run it back a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it run. To mention in a diss track. Not by unfounded fear but by the assured savagery of the reply that will follow and how damaging the outcome will be on their careers. It's not lying. On top of this list of living rappers is the Shady Records rapper, Eminem. He is no stranger to rap disses and beefs. Whether through isolated disrespectful mentions or full out battles, Eminem has had his run-ins with almost every notable name in the music industry and beyond. He has taken on some of the scariest diss rappers like Cannabis and Benzino. Destroyed famous pop superstars like Mariah Carey, Lady Gaga, Jessica Simpson, and Britney Spears. Even powerful politicians like Dick Cheney, Bill Clinton, Sarah Palin and Donald Trump have all been victims of Eminem's fearless taunts. In all this, M has never taken an outright L in any battle. On the contrary, his unmatchable rhymes, effortless lyrics and comical clowning of his enemies have played major roles in destroying some musical careers like those of Ja Rule. Insane Clown Posse, Vanilla Ice, and Benzino. Here are five songs that mark Eminem as a savage at rap beef and have made other rappers not mess with him. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Number 5, The Warning, this one was a Mariah crazy. Carey diss. The story of Eminem and Mariah Carey is one that has had several back and forths with both artists repeatedly going in on each other in what has become a never-ending war of words. It allegedly started off with Eminem claiming that he and Mimi were once a couple for a lengthy stretch, a relationship status that Mariah dismissed as Eminem's fantasies. Ooh. M being M, he launched a number of shots at the pop superstar, notably with cuts like Superman, Superman. Jimmy Crackcorn and Bagpipes from Baghdad touching on his version of the story. Am I too nice? Buy you ice. Bitch, if you lied, wouldn't buy you lights. Would you trying to be my new wife? What, you Mariah? Fly through twice. In a bid to give grounds to his side of the story, the Shady Records boss even played voicemails he said were from Mariah during his anger management tour. Well, who was that? I love you. Oh, you love her? Yo, that sounds like Mariah Carey. That's me! Get <laughs> the fuck out of here, man. Don't tell me she's behind Damn. Mariah! I told you to stop following me every motherfucking city we go! It's over between us, no? Things Crazy. escalated in 2009 when Mariah released a track, Obsessed that was understood to be clowning Eminem, especially in the music video, even though it didn't do much to smack down that assertion. Eminem responded not long after with his release of the acid-tipped Mariah diss track The Warning. The cut features Mariah and hubby Nick Cannon in the rapper's crosshairs, as Marshall Mathers III spits lines about bodily fluids while employing some Mariah samples. 
Sit back, homie, relax. In fact, grab a six pack, kick back while I kick facts. Yeah, Dre, sick track. Perfect way to get back. Wanna hear something wick whack? I got the same exact tat that's on Nick's back. I'm obsessed now. Oh, gee, that's supposed to be me in the video with the goatee. Wow, Mariah didn't expect it to go balls out. Bitch, shut the fuck up while I put all them phone calls out. You made to my house when you was wildin' out. Before Nick, when you was on my dick, and give you something to smile about. Yo, and number then four, let up. nail in the coffin. A Benzino slash the Source magazine disc. If you're ever in need of an example of a hip hop prodigy performing a lyrical destruction on one of his enemies, Nail in the Coffin should meet your needs. In 2003, back when magazines were still important in building and guarding artists' image and reputation, Eminem was in full beef mode with the Source and its co-owner Ray Benzino Scott. Mm. Scott came out of nowhere with an Eminem diss track, and the magazine followed suit on the editorial side, regularly roasting Eminem in articles and reviews. Crazy. In the midst of all this, several monster diss tracks sprung out of Eminem's beef with Benzino including Nail in the Coffin and the Sauce. Benzino's did is to come at Eminem, but his efforts were just nowhere near the hurling pride wounding taunts he received from Eminem. Eminem slammed the source for their lack of credibility and mocked Benzino's dismal hip-hop career. Mm. If you're that much of a gangsta, put the mic down, you should be out killing mother effers right now, sneers M on Nail in the Coffin. The source's reputation was further tarnished and Benzino would eventually opt out the source magazine and wind up on love and hip hop. Wow. I would never claim to be no Ray Benzino An 83 year old fake Pacino So how can he hold me over some balcony Without going and slowing back out As soon as he goes to lift me Please don't, you'll probably fall with me And I'll ask the both be history But then again, you finally get your wish Cause you'll be all over the street like 50 Cent Yo. Number 3, Hail Mary, Bully, Haley's Revenge and Go to Sleep, Ja Rule Disses Eminem and Ja Rule had a nasty bit of back and forth in the early 2000s. A spin-off of the well-documented heat between 50 Cent and the murdering MC that literally ended Ja Rule's career and created problems for his record label and associates like Ashanti and Herb Gutty. Worst of all is that M's beef with Ja was completely unprovoked. Following 50 Cent's signing with Shady Aftermath, Ja Rule, out of too much confidence from being one of the hottest rappers at the time, sent a warning to Eminem and Dr. Dre on live radio to check 50 Cent against releasing any more diss tracks against him and murdering. This was preceded by several Eminem disses which, for the most part, were ignored. However, mentioning Haley Mathers, Eminem's daughter, on one of his diss tracks was probably yeah. one of the biggest career mistakes Ja Rule ever made. Have done that. This pretty much disqualified Ja Rule from receiving any mercy from what followed. Eminem went on a relentless streak of trashing Ja Rule and Murder Inc. and several impossible to match diss track riddled with the signature hard crafted M. bars and comical clowning he is known for. M's diss has also included guest appearances from the likes of 50 Cent, DMX and Busta Rhymes, rappers who found themselves dragged into the beef mostly by Ja Rule's ego. You ain't no killer, you a pussy At ecstasy done got you all emotional and mushy Bitches wearing rags and photos Jai's words being quoted in the source Stealing pop shit like he just wrote it You lie, miles, pray to God, hoping No one's listening, see 50 coming for me Oh my God, my, my position, no one will pay attention to me Please, God, it Every single one of this was just crazy, bro got me I don't know if I got to all of them, I think I got to almost all of them I'm a fucking mad man who screams Like I'm hot, but I'm not Enemies, Tennessee Acting like I'm great, but I'm fake, I'm crazy Number 2, Can I Bitch, a Cannabis Disc Cannabis is not only a prolific lyricist but is also no stranger to high profile beefs. I I his run-ins with the legendary LL Cool J is one of hip-hop's most dramatic beefs. The second round KO rapper also had a distaste for Eminem dating back to the late 90s. The start of the bad blood between the two legends dates back before Eminem was signed and gained mainstream success. Cannabis allegedly accused Eminem of ghostwriting LL Cool J's diss tracks towards him. Wow. Even though Eminem openly denied doing so, it didn't stop Cannabis from putting up disrespectful behavior and eventually releasing several disses at Eminem. Why would you do that? The pair traded Why lyrical you... barbs for a few years and full-on diss tracks would later find their way into the mix including 100 bars by Cannabis, Without Me by Eminem, F You by Cannabis and Just Don't Give an F by Eminem. On the Straight From The Lab mixtape, Eminem picked apart Cannabis with a song titled Can I Bitch. Kicking off with an homage to Slick Rick's children's story, this track has a downright giddy tone in the way it cuts its subject, clowning cannabis in the most degrading way. Now once upon a time not long ago, there was a little rapper 
about to blow But his album came, and it was not good I think it went let a double pop of wood So the silly little fans, they were misled By a nerdy internet computer hip-hop head Me and you, Clef, we're gonna make some cash Grab the silver paint and let's paint my ass Bro, I gotta, I gotta react to that. Number piece. one, cleaning out my closet. Oh yeah, this was a Debbie crazy. Mathers disc. This was crazy. It's one thing to diss a fellow rapper, but dedicating an entire track to making disrespectful allusions to one's own mother is an elite of its own. And Eminem did just that. Eminem and his mother haven't always gotten along. Yep. The rocky relationship between him and his parents has always popped up in the mega-selling MC songs. However, the track cleaning out my closet. The Shady Records boss decided to be extremely salty in addressing the history and relationship with his parents. From deadbeat father to drug addicted mother, Eminem laid waste to his parents, cursing even their memories and wishing them dead. He was particularly unforgiving in the way he brought the spotlight on sour feelings he had towards his mother. The music video took the disrespect even further with graphic disturbing images of Eminem digging a grave and cursing his mother. Even though in the last verse of the song, M claimed the record was not directly aimed at his mother, it's hard to not link the two, right. given the rocky relationship with Ma. Another notable mention is the shocking 2017 BET Cypher freestyle in which the Detroit rapper bravely trashed U.S. President Donald Trump. We better give Obama I never saw this because what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. Oh my God, she! I'm not. I'm looking down because I, I want to react to some of these discs. I, have, I don't. I haven't got to that one, and I'm going to get to the other one with uh, cannabis as well, because I uh, sometimes I forget about stuff so. I don't think I've gotten to those just so I want to get to them. The drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down. He'll just gas his plane up and fly around to the bombing stops. Intensity's heightened. Tensions are rising. Trump, when it comes to giving a shit, you're stingy as I am. Except when it comes to having the balls to go against me, you hide them. Because you don't got the nuts. Like an empty asylum. Oh. All these and many more diss tracks make Eminem one of the scariest rappers to ever diss. How do you diss a living legend who not only has the lyrical and comical tools to destroy other legends, but is also psycho enough to care less about dissing himself and his parents? Yeah. Not to mention his impressive list of loyal protégés like 50 Cent, Aubrey Trice, and Bizarre who would jump on your neck for the slightest disrespectful mention of Eminem on your record. I guess you don't, and rappers get the message. Even beef mongers like Rapper Game have vowed never to go at him and M for whatever reason. It's so sad that the likes of Ja Rule, Benzino, and Insane Clown Posse got the memo late. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments Don't section. Video, Do you agree with the list? Which other records should feature here? That's pretty bad. Please subscribe to our channel and check out these other cool videos we know you would love. I didn't get to some of those disses though. I need to get this. I should get to some more, huh? But uh, that's the video. You enjoyed it. Very, 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 very well put together video. I didn't even realize some of those discs he dropped, bro. I gotta get to them though. But let me know which y'all guys, which y'all, which y'all wanna see next. But cause y'all know I'm down to react to whatever. But obviously more Eminem songs dropping. And again, check out my Eminem survival reaction that's already dropped on the channel. And uh, let me know if you guys want to react to any of these beefs that I haven't got to, or discs that I haven't got to. Um, but yeah, appreciate y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. More Eminem videos dropping soon. Hey, always love rants Eminem. Y'all know that. And uh, again, go check out my Eminem playlist if y'all new. Get caught up on all my reactions, whatever. But that's the video. If you enjoyed it, catch y'all next time. A like, comment, subscribe, share if you want to see more videos. Instagram's on the bottom of the screen, also in the description. If you want to hit me up, DM me, message me, do all that shit so I can keep on spamming these videos out for you. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. It's your boy King Supreme. I'll catch y'all next time, homies.